Hey everybody, welcome to my channel once again. Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple invoice using Microsoft Excel 2007 the easy way. Okay, um, so let me just, just for information's sake, um, Microsoft um, Excel, they offer templates for do, to doing different things and invoice is one of them. So let's get straight to it. So what we'll do, we'll go to our start button here and we're going to click on new. And we have a different list of different templates here, as you would see, right? And we're going to look for, we're going to scroll down here, and we're going to look for invoices. Click on that. And you'll see here, variety of different types of um, invoice templates, okay? So for me, this is a simple invoice we're going to create. And actually, if you click on each one, you'll see a preview on this side here. Right, so I'm going to click on the simplest one. This is what it's going to look like. I'm going to download that. Click on download. All right, so here you go. I have a new um, document with this template that we're going to customize to our invoice. Okay, let me just make it a little smaller so you could see. Okay, hopefully you can see that. This is what the template would look like. This your template for your invoice would look like. You have the basically your company name, your slogan if you have any, um, address for your business. Uh, this is the billing area information area. Who is going to go to and their address, and of what we have here invoice. This is what the document is. Invoice, the invoice date, invoice number, and um, for what the invoice is about. And this is the basic information for your invoice here. This is where you have the description, the amount, and so forth. And um, Lower down, you have like the total and little information you need at the end of, it, of the invoice. This is basically the template that I use for my husband's business. He's an electrician. So let's get to customizing this invoice to what we would like it to be. Okay. So let's, let me just try to be creative as I can. Now I'm assuming here that you have a little idea how to use uh, Microsoft Excel. Okay. So to want to change the name, you just click on the cell here. As you see what is in this cell, you'll see it up here. And this is where you can make the changes. So you click on that area here. Or I could just basically come here, backspace all that. And let's say I'll use my um my recipe business. Um I'll use, I'll just say M. Now this is my bookkeeping business. Okay. And then I'll just change this area here. Let me just do it up. I could also do it up here too as well. Backspace that. Um, okay, something like that, right? Then I'm going to also change the address too as well. I'll just put that as um. Okay, phone number. Um, I don't have any fax numbers, so I'll leave all that. But if you do have a fax number, just basically press F2 to edit that cell and put fax 284-342-200, whatever it is, okay? And for the date, now this, as you would see here, the date, it's, it's a formula. If you look up in the cell here, that is a formula so what will happen is each time you pull up this document it will have the correct date the correct current date so you don't don't change that okay for the voice number now you can customize this anyhow that you like i like to for me um, whatever my customer name is i like to use the first characters of their name or maybe the first letter of their first name and first, first letter of their last name and make a voice number out of that you can be creative with that and for I don't think I will use this, but you can use that if you like and put whatever your invoice, your service is about. Okay, so I'll leave that blank for now. I'll just probably just delete that and leave it out for now. Again, you can put whatever you want to put in that if you want to. Here, let's say my customer name is, um, right, business name is, um, Yeah. Um, address. Um, 
number is okay all right that's information for my customer okay so now we get down that's it basically we have we already set up our template we have the um your business name you have your little slogan for your business and you have the date well of course we're not changing that you have your invoice number your address for your business and your information about your client okay all right so when we get to the area where you're going to put the actual service that you're providing for your for your customer now the basic information for here you would need like um a quantity description um unit and amount but as you notice this is a very simple simple invoice so all it has is description and it has amount so we're gonna we're gonna put in that those particular two columns for ourselves the quantity and the unit okay so what we will do here i'll go back into home and I'll go into insert a column just just before the description. Okay, that's what we're looking for. I'm also going to do one insert a column here, which actually should put it in the cell here, and then say insert so the column get a column to the left. Okay, so what I'm going to put here, I'm going to put quantity quantity for this particular column. This column here, I'm going to put unit. All right. And what I'm going to do, I want this column here to look like this column here. So we're going to just enter, click our mouse on here, click on the format painter, and just click there. Oops, nope, I can't do that because these two cells here were merged. So I'm going to click on this particular one here, do the same thing, format painter, and click on here. Okay. All right, let's go down a bit. And I also want the same thing for the body of this area here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to highlight from down here. I'm going to copy and do the um, format painter. I just click on this area here and I'm going to copy that. That's, that feature is really, really is nice. And I also want this header to look like the rest. So I'm going to do the same thing as well. Format painter and click on units. Lovely. This doesn't have. So what I will do here, I'll just highlight this whole area here. I want to get a line on this side here so i'm going to go into borders and i'll just click on out, outside borders and there you have it okay so we, we're getting there okay so next thing we need to do now we're going to format the information that is going to our customer all right now one thing i'm seeing here is that um the quantity area here and the information for my my information the, the 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 vendor and my my customer is not lined up with quantities what i want to do i'm going to move that information here from here i'm going to highlight it i'm going to cut that i'm going to put it in cell b paste okay so i want everything to line up there all right looking good i think i might move here as well yes i think i'll move this from here do the same thing highlight it cut that I'm going to put it in this cell here. Will that work? Let's see how it looks. Okay, good. That's fine for me. 